The latest Knicks news and rumors are hot as the NBA season is right around the corner. Giannis Antetokounmpo, is he done in Milwaukee? We'll talk about that. We'll also give you the juice on what ESPN is saying when they said that Donovan Mitchell to the New York Knicks rumors still haven't gone away. Could talks between the Cavs and the Knicks be heating up? We're going to break that down as you're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports, and I am your host, Marshall Green. Let's start with what Brian Windhorst on ESPN just said about Giannis and the situation he has going on right now with Milwaukee. He said there is a 50-50 at best chance that Giannis is going to stay with the Bucks when his contract is over. We're going to dive into those quotes from him. We'll dive into some quotes from Ian Begley about Giannis, and then we'll tell you what ESPN said about Donovan Mitchell. we got a loaded show. But make sure you are subscribed to the channel because if the Knicks make a move, we make a video. Free Knicks content every single day. So go down right now, hit that sub button, and help us get to 27.5K. The honest rumors are heating up, and this started a couple of months ago on the channel. We told you about it when Giannis pretty much told the Bucks that he is not going to sign a contract extension this offseason. He's not a free agent until two summers from now, but he's contract eligible now. And he could put all those rumors to bed, but he will not put the pen to paper. He recently said, if the Bucks can't get back to winning Larry OBs, I'm going to have to go do it elsewhere. And Brian Windhorst said this on ESPN Today, quote, I would say right now it's 50-50 at best that he returns to Milwaukee when the contract is over. The teams that want to try and trade for him will start making decisions. Keeping that in mind, I am not saying the Knicks won't make a deal. The, de the decisions those teams make will now be made with the understanding that it could affect a Giannis situation pursuit. And what he's saying is the Knicks don't want to make a trade for player X because Giannis may be coming down the pipeline. It's like this. You never leave with the first girl that you meet at the bar because you never know what bad he might be walking through the doors in a couple of minutes that may want you. You don't leave with Zach Levine because Giannis could be coming later. The Knicks are going to go all in for Giannis Antetokounmpo if he does become available. He is the type of player that you move heaven and earth to get him to Madison Square Garden, to get him to the Mecca, to have New York across his chest. He's a special player. I think he's the second best player in the NBA right now. And that is reflected not only in the stats, but the eye test and how much of an effect he has had on winning in the most recent years. The guy is a walking 30-point, 11 rebound, 5 assists, almost 2 blocks. In my opinion, he's the second most versatile defensive player in the NBA behind Anthony Davis. If he comes to the Knicks, a duo of him and Jalen Brunson would be the best duo in the NBA, in my opinion. What I love about Giannis, though, is he raises his level of play in the playoffs, unlike some other players that have been linked to the Knicks, like Donovan Mitchell, who we'll touch on a little bit in a little bit, or a guy like Joel Embiid. This past year, Giannis was doing with a back injury, and he still gave you 23, 11, and 5 on 52% from the deck, 31, and 14, and 7 the prior year. 30, 13, and 5 the prior year, the dude is a special, special player, and he would be the best Nick this team has seen in a long, long time. Coming up in a second, we'll get to the quotes that Ian Begley of SNY had to say about Giannis. Look, I understand when Brian Windhorst and Adrian Wojnarowski speak about the Knicks, you take it with a grain of salt, but when Ian Begley says something, you listen up. Also, we'll touch on what ESPN Said about Donovan Mitchell coming up in a second. But I got to tell you guys about an awesome new sponsor we have here on the channel. And that is Waterboy. Go to waterboy.com slash chat sports and use the promo code chat sports for 15% off your first order. That link will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. Waterboy is a hydration powder scientifically formulated to cut your hangover time in half. There are other hydration packs on the market, but nothing comes anywhere close to fighting those Sunday scaries like Waterboy. With zero sugar and over three times the electrolytes of liquid IV, your hangover will stand no chance. Unlike their competitors, Waterboy has added ingredients beyond just hydration to help with nausea, anxiety, and fatigue. We all know that hydration alone isn't enough to help after that bender you had in Vegas. So for a limited time, our listeners will get 15% off your entire Order with the code chat sports at, at waterboy.com slash chat sports. Hundreds of thousands of people already trust Waterboy as their hangover cure. It's time to stop dealing with that anxiety alone for a limited time. 
My Knicks Now viewers get an exclusive 15% off discount when you use the code chat sports at waterboy.com. That is waterboy.com slash chat sports, or you can just use the promo code chat sports. That's 15% off. That link will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. All right, this is what Ian Begley of SNY said about Giannis and the Knicks. Quote, I assume that the Knicks have had a good idea of where they stand if Giannis becomes available via a trade. Are they willing to hold off on any significant trades this season or in the 2024 offseason while they wait for Giannis? That approach doesn't always wind well, end well around here. Just look at the Knicks 2019 offseason. The Knicks could put together a solid trade offer for Giannis. They own the rights to four future picks first round picks and have all of their own first rounders moving forward. They have players signed to reasonable contracts. And I agree with a lot of what Ian Begley said. We've done the wait and see game for the superstar. I don't know if that is the right way to play. It hasn't panned out for the Knicks yet, but at this point, if he has a 50, 50 chance of leaving, it's kind of worth rolling those dice dice. I think the best five teams in the NBA that could put a trade package together for the Giannis includes the Oklahoma City Thunder and all the picks that Sam Presti has. The Brooklyn Nets for the first-round picks they got for Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Utah Jazz, the same for them with Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. And the Knicks that have 10 first-rounders in the next seven years, as well as the Houston Rockets, all the young guns they have, and all of their own future first-round picks. The Knicks do potentially have four first-rounders in 2024, two firsts in 2025, eight tradable firsts in the next seven years, and then 10 total in that time frame. Not all of the 2024 picks will convey this year, but they can roll over to the next year and the next year. These trades would feature almost all of your first-round picks, if I had to say so. When you talk about what it would cost to trade for Giannis, look, they are going to want everything the Knicks have, and rightfully so, right? What is he, a multiple-time MVP, NBA champion, NBA Finals MVP, the second-best player in the world behind Nikola Jokic? I think he is, and he's not even 30 years old yet. If the Bucks do decide they want to trade him before he potentially leaves in free agency, I think they would ask for Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Quentin Grimes, Emmanuel Quickly, all four of your unprotected first-round picks and three of your protected first-round picks. Remember, we told you the Knicks have 10 first-rounders in the next seven years, so this still leaves you with three first-round picks. It leaves you with R.J. Barrett, Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Isaiah Hartenstein. It leaves you with still a solid group of players, but you are giving up a lot here. But you may be getting the secret key to a championship right here. Would you make this trade? If you were Leon Rose and the Milwaukee Bucks said this is all it would took to land Giannis Antetokounmpo, would you do the deal? Type A for accept, type D for decline. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section because I'm saying accept you do anything it takes to land Giannis in New York. Let's close the show talking about Donovan Mitchell and what ESPN had to say about him. The quote was, the Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks rumors still haven't gone away. This was the full quote on that. Despite the Cleveland Cavaliers trading for Mitchell instead of the Knicks last season. Mitchell is extension eligible this offseason. And if Cleveland thinks there's even a chance that Mitchell may bolt, Perhaps they look into seeing what value they can get for the players they just dealt three players for, including Laurie Markkinen, three first-round picks, and two pick swaps. Four. Look, the Donovan Mitchell trade rumors are not going to go away anytime soon for the New York Knicks. As long as Mitchell refuses to say, I want to be a Cleveland Cavalier. I don't want to play for the Knicks. My heart is in Cleveland. I want to play in Quicken Loans Arena, and I want to make Cleveland great again. The rumors are going to continue to happen. Thing is, no one is saying that. LeBron didn't even commit to that. And as Joakim Noah said, nobody goes on vacation to Cleveland. Donovan Mitchell does not want to be there long term. If he did, he would sign the pen to paper that would guarantee him, what, $250 million at this point. It ain't going to happen. Remember what we told you a couple of weeks ago? Bill Simmons guaranteed that the Knicks will trade for Giannis Embiid or Donovan Mitchell by next season. And my take still remains the same, that if the Knicks are going to make a move for one of these three players, it is Donovan Mitchell that is going to be the most likely. Simple as put, he wants to be here. The Knicks want him here. And I think he would be the cheapest to trade for of the three as a guy like Giannis and a guy like Embiid is going to cost everything you got. I will also admit 
that Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell are not an ideal fit in the backcourt. How many times have we seen these small backcourts built off of scoring power not work out or not stay consistent and dominant for a long period of time? Didn't work with Dame Willard and C.J. McCollum. Shoot, it didn't really even work with Brunson and Luka. I know it was only a short pairing, but they didn't win an NBA championship. It's hard to have two people in the backcourt that neither one of them are a defensive specialist. And I think we all know that Brunson and Donovan Mitchell are not those guys. Also, there's this rumor out there that Donovan Mitchell was not happy with Leon Rose when he did not pull the trigger to have him go from Utah to New York. He wanted to be a Nick. Leon Rose knew that. They have a relationship, supposedly Mitchell was not happy that Leon Rose did not pull the trigger to make a trade happen. And honestly, if you're Mitchell and you voiced to him that you wanted to be here no matter what, I think I'd be a little bit upset too because I think Leon Rose might have promised him it will get done. It did not. Will it ever get done? That's the question I want to close, though, the show with. Does Donovan Mitchell ever play for the New York Knicks? <sighs> going to be an interesting couple of months. I know that for sure. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Remember, you guys can't give me a follow over on Twitter at MarshallGreen underscore. The first place you would have heard about these rumors were right over there. So give me a follow at MarshallGreen underscore.